Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science and the Dwarf Planets. According to the International Astronomical Union, or IAU for short, there are currently five objects classified and accepted as dwarf planets. Ceres, Pluto, Maki Maki, Haumea, and Eris. These dwarf planets are much smaller than the Earth. Here's Pluto compared to the Earth. Except for Ceres, which is found in the main asteroid belt, these dwarf planets are located beyond Neptune in the Kuiper Belt. So how's a dwarf planet different than a regular planet? According to the IAU, a planet is first a celestial body that orbits the Sun. Two, has enough mass to assume a hydrostatic equilibrium. In other words, a nearly round shape. And three, has cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. A dwarf planet has satisfied one and two, but does not have the mass to clear its neighborhood of all the objects by either collision, capture, or gravitational disturbance. Ceres, which is found in the asteroid belt, is smaller than the Earth's moon. It is heavily cratered and has large amounts of ice underground. Ceres does not have a moon. Pluto was the first large object discovered in the Kuiper belt and was considered a planet for many years. Pluto is 39 astronomical units from the Sun. Compare this to Ceres, which is only 2.8 AUs away from the Sun. Pluto has five moons, and here's its size again compared to the Earth. Maki Maki is located in the Kuiper Belt, and it may have one moon. They're not really sure. Here its size compared to Pluto. Haumea is located also in the Kuiper Belt, and it has a distinctive egg shape because it rotates or spins so rapidly. It has two moons. Eris has a diameter slightly smaller than Pluto, but it's the most massive of all the dwarf planets. It is found on the edge of the Kuiper Belt. At times, Eris will be almost three times further away from the Sun as Pluto. Eris was considered a tenth planet by NASA until August of 2006, when the IAU defined it as a dwarf planet. Eris has one moon. So there we go, the dwarf planets. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.